Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. When I, I shared with you um, how my daughter was starting school, I remember Glenn leaving a comment saying that um, the jumps are going to begin, and really they have begun. Um, she has started, you know, like getting colds and flus and bringing home and uh, this time it really 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 got us uh it of course it started with her she was really she came back with this cough and this uh clue like sneezing and just coughing and she was actually that following day we didn't even let her go to school and then after her the little one also got it and it was very rough on her she still has it like uh, our youngest um it hit her really bad. I think it's the first time that has happened. I don't remember her ever being um, down with a cold and flu. And then from there, the mom got it, and then now it's me. Uh, so it's almost like the entire family. Uh, personally, I think it started out on, on Sunday. That's when I started feeling it, that something I was coming up with something. And then yesterday, which was Monday, it really, really hit me very hard, actually. When I went into work, I wasn't sure if I could even complete the whole shift. And so, luckily enough, today I, uh, I'm off, so I get my three days off. I'm going to have time to work on it. Um, but we have never, I don't remember, I don't think we have ever come down uh, with a cold or with flu like this. And that's a testament to the goodness of God. Um, um, we just enjoy the blessing of good health. Uh, we haven't had this happen to us like this. So I'm so grateful to God for the blessing of, of health that we enjoy. Um, but I, what I want to share with you is one of the concoctions that I use in situations like this. Um, it may be able to help you out. Of course, the young ones can't drink this. Uh, but when I get a flu or cold coming down on me, this is what I use. I get um, a lemon. I usually get one lemon. I get uh, some cranberry juice. This is 100% cranberry juice. Um, I get cayenne pepper and honey. And so I mix those two. And um, I don't really have measurements per se. I just kind of use my eyes and, and taste to mix it up. But one whole um, lemon, and then you put in a little bit of uh, cranberry juice. I would say depending on how big uh, your lemon is, it could be maybe like a quarter cup of cranberry juice. And then for the cayenne, I really like it when it's really hot so that it goes in there and just clears up the throat so i would say maybe about um a teaspoon or even actually no maybe more than that probably half a tablespoon of cayenne i i put in a lot and then um I, some honey just to um i would say probably same thing maybe about um a tablespoon of honey and then you mix that together and just drink it all at once and you do that like once in the morning and then um, in the evening before maybe bed, uh, you drink that too. That really has worked for me in the past. It, uh, and so that's what I'm going to do right now. So you guys can give that a try. And of course, this is also another wake up call uh, for me. At least one of the things that I want to also do is to make sure that uh, we feed on that word. So I just need to come up with uh, scriptures that talk about our health. Uh, and then I'm just going to start uh, teaching my, my kids, I think, to confess those scriptures because we've got to come against this thing. And so I just want to write them down so that um, they learn to just talk about uh, what they are in, in, in Christ Jesus like talking about how they are healed, uh, because the Bible says that um, his words uh, are, are health to our bones and bodies. So uh, those are the two things that I want to encourage you to do. Um, 
make that concoction and then for those of you that know God and know his word, just uh, get a, uh, some scriptures that you can stand on and start claiming uh, those scriptures. And so that's something I want to teach my kids to, to do, to know that uh, they can claim scriptures uh, based on what they need. Because if that's what the word of God tells us, then it is ours. Just like we take medicine, God's word is medicine. Or you can call it a gospel. 